Hey guys, good afternoon and welcome to the 10th season of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show, the second chapter. That's right, 10 seasons in already guys. This is also episode 112 overall, so yep, there we go. Oh yes, that's right, we are doing good for this. Why would we not be? Who cares? Anyway, let's get back to this, shall we guys? Because we are already getting it underway, as it was, as it is. Uh... Well, were you expecting that, guys? I'll bet you weren't. Ah! There's no point in trying to trick me. No, guys, because it will not work. Uh. Well, guys, how about we now take a look at this episode of the Barrett Family Rebooted? Your father should be home soon, Jess. He's being promoted again. Bingo. I am a lieutenant. Well done, love. We are very proud of you, Daddy Dearest. Come to Daddy, Jesse Bunny. I love you, Dad. I love you too, sweetie. This is a very proud day for us. My father, a brilliant parent, and a fantastic soldier. My daughter, a very sweet little girl. Jess idolizes you, Roscoe. I'd love a little brother someday. Wait and see what we get in a week's time. You're having a baby. That's right. Nearly nine months. They think it's a boy. I'm totally going to have a little brother. That's mommy and daddy sweet tickle baby girl. Hello Wendy Barrett, welcome to the world. Well just don't just stand there. What do you think of your new sister? She looks stupid. Did you hear that, you brat? You're a stupid baby. Jessica, how dare you call the baby stupid? Why would you say something so mean to your baby sister? I wanted a brother, not a sister. Well you have a little sister now Jessica. And there's no excuse for saying what you said to her. You made her cry. As of now, you are grounded for a month. That was very naughty. When we get home you are going to bed. Now apologize to your sister. I'm sorry I called you stupid Ella. And, what else? I love you too. That's more like it. Now you're behaving like a real big sister. Give her cuddle. Coochie coo. Okay guys, that was episode 112 of the Barrett Family Rebooted. Roscoe the Lieutenant and Surprise Baby. <laughs> and for the obvious reasons you just saw, Roscoe became a Lieutenant and Baby was born at the end of the episode by surprise. That's right, Ella, the youngest daughter of Roscoe and Lucy and the youngest sister of Jessica. And there you go, see there you go guys, yep. What a way to kick off a new season. <laughs> Oh, 
うて And now, guys, what do you say yup to? That's right, you say it to him, you say it to Big Backintosh. And Rarity falls over, true to form. <laughs> yup, as he says here. <laughs> uh -huh. Guys, I think it's time we called it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the premiere of the Thames season. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show, the second chapter. Is this justice? Anyway, now let's get on with the episode. Because I did hear of this youngster who was so smart that she was in university by the age of four and had graduated with a first class degree at the age of eight and then was teaching by also the same age but because she wasn't spending her childhood doing what all children normally do going to school and then coming home to play she drew up plans to retire at the age of 30 Yep, that's right. And so, with that in hand, she carried on with her job. Well, okay. That's basically the summary of the Pandora series, which I've recently started writing. But now, how about this episode of the Barra Family Rebooted? Take a look. Isn't this something? Roscoe and Lucy have had another daughter, Ella, and I'm looking after her. Here we are, Lily, little Ella, all ready for her Aunt Lily. Okay, Lucy. I'll take this little miracle off your hands. I'll see you in a few hours, little angel. Be a good girl. I love you. Lucy, honestly. Ella's a newborn baby. How much trouble can she possibly cause? I know. I'll be back at four to pick her up. She goes down for her naps at one. One o'clock nap time. Got it. So this is little Ella? That's right, girls. What do you think of her? She's really cute. What a sweet baby. She looks stupid. Did you hear that, brat? You're a stupid baby, Shelby Rose Barrett. How dare you call the baby stupid? Why would you say something so horrid to your baby cousin? You made her cry. How could you say such a hurtful thing to her? And you are a very naughty girl. Get to your room this instant. You are in the doghouse. Okay guys, that was episode 113 of the Barra Family Rebooted, entitled Looking After Ella. Very straightforward plot there, Lily Looking After Ella. Yeah, there you go. No need to jump on the bandwagon with worry there. But who says you're going to do that anyway?
I say no one. So, I didn't need to say it. So we are not going to That was strange. It most certainly was. <laughs> okay. Let's not go too crazy now. So we'll call it here for this episode, and I will see you next time. Hi guys! And welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show, the second chapter. We are now 114 episodes into the show, guys. Yes, the incredibility of it still stuns me to this day. You better believe me when I say that too. Because it's no joke guys, no, absolutely no joke at all. So guys, without any further ado, let's get on with the show. Because... I know that's what you come to see. So I'm going to play a bit of Billionaire. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Billionaire, not Millionaire. So. Who are united in the UAE? Arab Emirates. Asian Empires. African Economies. American Elders. <laughs> That's only 3,280. What substance has the chemical name sodium chloride? Vinegar. Bicarbonate of soda. Hand soap. Table salt. And that's only 6,470. That's right. Who sings I Can't Get No Satisfaction? Rolling Stones. Bob Dylan. Ray Charles. Nirvana. That's uh, me. 9,800. That's right. In what month is Independence Day celebrated in the USA? November, July, January, August. Thirteen thousand five hundred and ten, and I get the chance to either double, triple, or quadruple for the next question, or just say the same. I'm quadrupling. Which guidebook for boys is estimated to have sold 150 million copies since being published in 1908? Boys are still Scouting for Girls, Boys Own, Scouting for Boys. Fourteen 
What shirt number did Michael Jordan wear? 77, 23, 15, 32. Seventy-one thousand one hundred and forty. Sandra Farmer Patrick competed in which track event? Three thousand meters, one hundred meters, four hundred meter hurdles, ten thousand meters. Eighty-five thousand seven hundred and forty. Which of these snakes is not poisonous? Viper, Taipan, Python, Cobra. One hundred and two thousand two hundred and ninety. What is correct? Shakespeare. 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 Shakespeare, of course. One hundred and twenty thousand six hundred and ninety. I'll triple this time if I get it right. In which year did the hula hoop craze first circle in the world? 1952, 1953, 1958, 1966. No, it was 1958. Since the 16th century, which Italian city has been well famous for its violins? Cremona. Trieste, Florence, Brindisi. What is the longest river in Italy? Hudson, Rubicon, Tiber, uh, Po. Forty seven thousand seven hundred and thirty. What are the three colours on the flag of Ireland? Green, white, red, green, white, orange, green, white, green, green, white, yellow, it's blue, white, green, green, white, and red. Oh, it's not. How many pounds of wool? Was a Todd equal to 36, 28, 18? For goodness sake, or 42, 28, I'll try to double for the next question. In sumo wrestling, which is the lowest of five ranks in the top Makuki division? Ozeki, Sanyaku, Mayagashira, Yokozuna. Oops. 
So my overall winnings are 19,515. Not bad for a few minutes work. Anyway, let's carry on with the episode, shall we guys? Take a look at this episode now of the Barrett Family Rebooted. I'm afraid little Lizzie has fallen ill. Ill? What's wrong with her? Unfortunately, she's come down with sickness and has already been sick three times. Lizzie, exactly what's wrong? I feel sick and stuffed up the nose. Hot and cold flushes and I have a splitting headache. You have a flu and should be tucked up in bed, not in school. Come on babes. Let's get you home, give you some painkillers and put you straight to bed. Poor thing. There you go, my poor little princess. All tucked up. Try and get some rest now. I'll be back to check on you later. Lizzie, sweetie. It's time for your medicine. Gulp. Good girl. Okay guys, now due to me playing billionaire not millionaire at the start, I think we'll call it here for this episode. That was a hundred, episode 114 of the Farrah Family Rebooted by the way, entitled Sick Girl for obvious reasons. Until next time, shut out for now. Hi guys, and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show, the second chapter. We are now 115 episodes into this show, guys. That's right, as of now. So let's get on with it. We are going to be the best of the best. So, let us prepare for that. Because preparation is the key. So, let's get on with it. As I've already said. I don't know why I felt the need to repeat what I just said. So we are going to Yes, we're just going to do that. Do not let yourselves be mistaken there. Because now if I am James and not mistaken, it's time to see this episode of the Barra family re Boot it. What a morning this is. For me to go out and... Excuse me, Doreen Maureen Barrett, but you are not going out. Why not? Because you're grounded, that's why. You left your room in an obscene mess, and that's very naughty. No, I didn't. You're a fibber. How dare you fib about leaving your room in a mess, you naughty girl. Dory, you're 11 years old now and should know how childish it is to behave like this. Shut up. You did not just speak to me like that. How dare you? Get to your room this instant, young lady. How dare you be so naughty as to speak to your brother like that? Fuck off. That's disgusting. Why would you say something so foul to your mother? Because she's a skanky ho-hoo. Enough. I will not have you being so ungrateful. 
nor will I. You are being really ungrateful right now. And I can't believe you would speak about me that way. You need to show her your appreciation for all she's done for you. She brought you into the world, fed you, watered you, clothed you and gave you a good, decent and loving family, and you repay her with these ungrateful comments. Just you wait until Aunt Lily and Uncle Robert find out. Oh, and my dad. He'd be over like a gunshot. Okay guys, that was episode 115 of the Barra Family Rebooted, entitled Dory Gets Grounded, for the obvious reason you saw Dory getting grounded. So now, let's hope she'll be all the wiser because if she isn't she knows what's coming next yes she does anyway let's get on with this now shall we <laughs> So, we're going to do that. Yeah, that's right, we are. So, don't let yourself forget that. Because I will not be a happy bunny if you don't. I, I, I mean, if, if you do. But... So, we will get on with it, right here, right now. No fooling. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Until then, well, see ya. Hi guys, and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show, the second chapter. Now guys, we are now 116 episodes into this show. That's right. And we are still going strong. So what do you guys say that we do a little bit of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of that, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Before going too crazy, we don't want to do too much of this and we don't want to do too much of that. So, how about now I show you this episode of the Barrett Family Rebooted. It's all right, Mason. Lizzie should be able to help. What's the matter with you two? Mason's classmates are bullying him because he's a little on the small side for a five-year-old. Oh no, poor Mason. Come here, tell me what they've been saying to you. 
They were calling me a baby and said I shouldn't be in big school yet. They also told me to change my nappy and... Oh they did, did they? Shelby, go and get mum and dad. They need to know about this. What's happening up here? I need your help, mum and dad. I'm being bullied at school for being too small for my age. What? Are you serious? Yes. The other kids in his group were calling him baby names and telling him to change his nappy. Right. That's it. We will not have our son being treated that way by anybody. How dare those naughty children do that to him? They also called me and dad for right case. I may be a four right cat, but I'm also a lawyer, and I am suing that school for discrimination. This will be resolved. We love our brother, and we'd do anything to help him. Okay, guys. That was episode 116 of the Barra Family Rebooted. Helping Mason, and it's to do with Mason needing help with bullies. That's right. So, now it's time to not pull faces, but to bring Big Macintosh onto the screen. Yup, he says. And, oh, it looks like he's going back over here. Yup, he says. So now, guys, well, there's not really much else we can show you here, so... How about we call it for this episode, and I will see you next time. Good evening and welcome to another brand new episode of the Facade and God of War to 20 show, the second chapter. We are now 117 episodes into the show, guys. The incredibility over there is 17 episodes past 100. There we go. And so, it continues. Yes, it does. Badum, 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 badum. I can't go out and meet them. Without Darren's availability, and I'll have Lewis round at that time, so no. Sorry about this, guys. I'll tell you what, why don't we break for this episode of the Barra Family Rebooted? It's really quiet around here. 
Where's Shelby? Lizzie, do you happen to know where your sister is? No, Mum, I do not. I know where Shelby is, Aunt Lily. Where? She's in jail, because she was caught shoplifting. What? Are you serious? I thought we told her how wrong it is to steal. That's really very naughty. That naughty girl is so grounded. How dare she shoplift after our warning? Now I have to go and bail her out. Do you have 200 pounds? 200 pounds? For Christ's sake how much did she steal to get Mama 200 pound bail charge? She obviously stole 200 pounds worth of goods. I can't believe I have to dig into the family's emergency fund just to pay her bail. She is grounded for 20 weeks. One week for every ten pounds worth of stuff she stole. She never listens. I'd better take four hundred just for their troubles. You better get down there and pay her release, or they'll charge her with mass theft and try her as an adult for the crime. I'll watch Lizzie for you. What's Shelby looking at if Mum doesn't make it in time to bail her out? As she stole two hundred pounds worth of stuff, she's looking at a sentence of four and a half years in prison. The deadline for bail is 6 o'clock this evening. It's now 5.45. You're damn lucky I got to you on time, otherwise you'd be in prison for four and a half years. You've been ever so naughty, and are therefore sentenced to 20 weeks. One week for every tenner's worth of items you stole. Now, get straight to bed. No dinner for you tonight. That's a little harsh. You gotta feed her. No, it's alright. I deserve all of this after what I did. I didn't mean it. Of course you get dinner. But you do have to go to bed. I don't deserve an easy forgiveness. Sounds like you've actually learnt your lesson. You deserve another chance. I forgive you sweetheart, and I agree with Lizzie. You're no longer grounded. Come here, I thought you hated me. Of course I don't you silly girl. I love you. Oh so dearly. I was just upset because it cost me £200 to get you out of this mess. It's not like you murdered anyone. I'd never go to that extreme. Know this. We love you. Okay guys, that was episode 117 of the Barrett Family Rebooted. Shall be forgiven. Because obviously Shelby was naughty and this is when she gets forgiven. And what was she doing to be naughty this time? Stealing. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, guys. Sorry, Rarity. I didn't mean to knock you over again. Um. It's now time. Because obviously I'm. I don't know what else I can do to extend the length of this episode, or... Oh. Uh, looks like Kenny has a very good, a fairly good idea what to do next. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. Uh, not okay, actually. Get back over there. We'll end this episode here, guys, and... I'll see you next time. Good evening all, and welcome to another brand new episode of Silent God of War to 20 show, the second chapter. We are now 118 episodes in, guys, and we are doing famously. So let's get on with this episode, because it's a sticky situation. Ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum, ba -bum -bum, bum 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 We need to do that. And that too.
That's right. Okay, that was weird. Now, it's time to check out this episode of the Barra Family Rebooted. What a glorious morning this is. Here he is, our son. Mason, are you alright, son? I'm alright, Mum and Dad. We are glad to hear it, Sonny Jim. My name's not Jim. It's Mason. Our little Mason is such a clever boy, always coming out with these wise cracks. There's no end to his cleverness. I'm only five, and can't count as high as this episode's overall number. No worries, son. It's number 118. That's a big number. You're an amazing son, Mason. We love you to pieces. We will always be very proud of you. Are you watching El Number? Yes, but it doesn't teach numbers that big. I'm so proud of you, my son. Best got now, Skiddle. Okay, guys, that was episode 118. Family rebooted. Mason, be pleased. Get it. The youngest son's name is Mason. May son, and he's pleased. Be pleased. Now, this early stage in the season, Mason is four years old. That's right. After all, he's only introduced in this season. So now, guys, I think we've rambled enough, and so we'll call it for this episode. And I will see you next time. Yup. Hey guys, and welcome. To another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show, the second chapter. Ooh, how well are we doing to be 119 episodes into the show, guys? Let's get on with it, though, shall we? Because I know that's what you're here for. So let's carry on. Well, okay, that was strange. But how strange? Well, we'll leave that to you to decide. If you'll be catching my drift. Because catching a my drift will certainly help you. That's right, it will. So, what do you say about that?
that will be my question right now. So don't try anything strange, for you're about to see this episode of the Abbott family are reported. Namandad are out and I am your babysitter, and you have to behave yourself and do as I say. If you're naughty, you will be punished. I get it. Go to your room, right now. How dare you interrupt me while I was warning you of the consequences of any misbehavior. That's very naughty. I've heard it all before. Mum and Dad give the speech all the time. That's no reason for your rude interruption, so you get your naughty bottom up to your room. Now. Calm down or... Ella, you are being very naughty. If you won't go up to your room, I will take you up and put you to bed. Naughty girl. I'm not going to bed. You are, if you don't do as you are told. So go on, off to your room. I'm not going to my room. That's it. I have had it with you and your bad behavior. You are going to bed this instant. You are a very naughty little girl. Okay guys, that was episode 119 of the Barra Family Rebooted. Yup. Jess babysits. And for the obvious reason, Jess was babysitting Ella, her little sister. And so guys, um... It's starting to look like we're running out of material to show you in this episode. Yup. So. Gonna have to go now. Sadly. Well, not really. It's not really sad because there'll be another episode soon. Yup. So until then. Take care. Good evening, guys, and welcome to another brand new episode of Side and God of War's 20 show, the second chapter. We are now 120 episodes into the show, guys. That's right. Although this is episode 9 of season 10, it is overall episode 120. So let's get on with it. Because that's what you're here to see, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay. So... <laughs> okay, guys, now I know it's not really the time of year to be reading them, but I'm going to read you one anyway after this episode of the Barra Family Rebooted. What a day. No, Dory. That's not fair. But you always have it. So fucking hand it the fuck over. Oh, for God's sake. Not this again, Lizzie. Dory and Ella are arguing again. Can you come up and sort it out? It's upsetting Mason. I certainly will sort those naughty girls out. Tell Mason it's going to be fine. I'd better get up there and sort this out. Who's the selfish one? You. Shut up. Ella. And Dory. Stop this argument this moment, you naughty pair. Right. I demand to know what this is about. Ella won't give me a turn with the doll. Dory always has the doll, and I never get a looking. Right. That does it. If you two can't share the doll I'm going to have to confiscate it, as for you two. You are very naughty to have this ridiculous argument. Ella. Go to your room, 
Right now, your parents and sister will hear about this, and you Dory, can just sit on that bed and think about what you've done. Your mum and brother will hear about this. You are so very naughty. Okay guys, that was episode 120. Of the Barrett family rebooted, the argument. Yes, because it had a depiction of Dory and Ella having an argument over a doll, believe it or not. Now, what I'm going to read to you now, guys, is... Well, something that I actually rather enjoy reading. But I need to actually find the website first, so... So we have here creepypasta.org. That's right, I'm going to read you one of these. And I know exactly which one to read. And from exactly which section or category am I going to pick one from? Well, if I can actually select the one I want to read. Not Paranoia, Television. Here's our list. Where bad kids go. Okay, here we go. And it goes like this. I must have been six or seven when I lived in Lebanon. The country was ravaged by war at the time and murders were common and frequent. I remember during a particularly vicious era, when the bombings rarely stopped, I would stay at home sitting in front of my television watching a very, very strange show. It was a kid's show that lasted about 30 minutes and contained strange and sinister images. To this day, I believe it was a thinly veiled attempt on the part of the media to use scare tactics to keep kids in place, because the moral of every episode revolved around very uptight ideologies. Stuff like, bad kids stay up late, bad kids have their hands under the covers when they sleep, and bad kids steal food from the fridge at night. It was very weird and in Arabic to top it off. I didn't understand much of it, but for the most part, the images were very graphic and comprehensive. The thing that stuck with me the most, however, was the closing scene. It remained much the same in every episode. The camera would zoom in on an old rusted closed door. As it got closer to the door, strange and sometimes even agonising screams would become more audible. It was extremely frightening, especially for, a children, for children's programming. Then, a text would appear on the screen in Arabic reading, That's where bad kids go. Eventually, both the image and the sound would fade out, and that would be the end of the episode. 
About 15 or 16 years later, I became a journalistic photographer. The show had been in my mind all my life, popping up in my thoughts sporadically. Eventually I'd had enough and decided to do some research. I finally managed to uncover the location of the studio where much of that channel's programming had been film recorded. Upon further research, and eventually travelling on site, I found out it was now desolate. and had been abandoned after the big war ended. I entered the building with my camera. It was burned out from the inside. Either a fire had broken out or someone had wanted to incinerate all of the wooden furniture. After a few hours of cautiously making my way into the studio and snapping pictures, I found an isolated out of the way room. After having to break through a few old locks and managing to break the heavy door open, I remained frozen in the doorway for several long minutes. Traces of blood, feces and tiny bone fragments lay scattered across the floor. It was a small room and an extremely morbid scene. What truly frightened me though, what made me turn away and never want to come back, was the bolted caged microphone hanging from the roof in the middle of the room. To send bone chilling, uh, to send chills down your bones, um, guys. That was where bad kids go, basically. To top it up, um, to recollect on it now what I've just read. A journalistic photographer remembers a children's TV show they used to watch as a child. That use scare tactics to keep children from misbehaving. And it featured graphic and sinister images. And at the end of each episode, the camera would zoom in on an old rusty iron door. And screams could be heard becoming more audible as it got closer to that door. And then... A text would pop up on the screen in Arabic reading, that's where bad kids go. And eventually, the sound and the picture would fade out, closing the episode. And so years later, it manages to uncover the location of the studio where most of our channel's program had been filmed, program, ha, programming had been recorded, snapping pictures and eventually finding the iron door. And after having to break locks and pull the door open, the scene on the other side of the door had them rooted to the spot, as traces of blood, feces and broken bone fragments lay scattered all over the room, the morbid scene. But what truly frightened them was a bolted cage microphone hanging from the roof in the middle of the room. And that will be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. I'll be back next time with another new episode. Until then, good night.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show, the second chapter. We are now 121 episodes into the show, guys. That's right. And this is not going to be the penultimate episode of the season. Oh no, there will be at least three or four more for it. Mm -hmm. So let's carry on with this one. Right now. How likely is that, eh? You got it. And now it's time for this episode of the Parrot Family Rebooting. Jessica. Yes, Ella. What is it? Can I have nappies on? Why? Have you ever messed yourself? No. Then why on earth would you want nappies on? I just do. Will you put a nappy on me? I'm sorry, but I can't put a nappy on you for no reason. I'll get in trouble. What do I have to do to get a nappy put on me? You have to wet and or mess yourself, have a bath, or be ready for bed. You know that. It's too early for bed, but I will relax. You want me to put a nappy on you for relaxation? Yes, will you do it? Okay. Let's go and give you a bath, and then it's straight into a nappy. All right, you're all nice and clean. Lay down and we'll put a nappy on you. There you go. Now that you've got your nappy on, you can relax. I'll change you when you need it. Ella, it's time to change your nappy. Okay, guys, that was episode 121 of the Barra Family Rebooted. I want nappies on. Uh, not me personally. It was to do with Ella wanting nappies on. Yeah. A six year old. <laughs> anyway. It's time now. Or this word from our sponsors. Not really, because I'm not sponsored by anyone, but you know. <laughs> nice little gag there, James. Anyway. It will now be time to call it on this episode, and I'll see you again next time. Until then, take care. Good evening and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show, the second chapter. We are now 122 episodes in to this show as a whole.
and let's get on with the show because we're going to add some more to it. Bye. <coughs> And all this because I'm doing this. Don't make your head butt me. Oh, Kenny. Oh, you are so you are so sweet, Kenny. Anyway, guys, now I think it's time. to do something that hasn't been done yet on the show and it's like this uh... charming eh? <laughs> I know what you must be thinking and don't let there be any mistakes with what my knowledge is because Naughty, naughty, naughty. It's now time for this episode of The Barra Family Rebooted. I am loving this day. Oh fuck. I forgot to do my homework. Now Lizzie, there's no need for language like that. That was naughty, wasn't it? I just realized I forgot to do my homework, and it's due in tomorrow. I'm fucked. What have we told you about slacking on your homework? That I mustn't slack on my homework, otherwise I'd be grounded. Exactly, and now you're slacking on your homework. How dare you? I'm a naughty bastard. And that's another thing, enough with the language. You are so very naughty. Get up to your room and do your homework. Now. Lizzie can be so naughty sometimes. Like all children. Even 12 year olds. You yourself were always being naughty at Lizzie's age. You certainly did slack on your homework every time you had it. I know, but that was 16 years ago. This is now, and I don't want history to repeat itself with my daughter. You're a good mother Lily, but sometimes I think you need to let your kids be kids. Instead of rushing them to grow up. Why not let them be kids? I'm all for that, but I worry about Lizzie mostly. She's my eldest child and I want her to have a good life. Right now, she frequently slacks on her homework. And you don't want her to fail at school? Exactly. Remembering the serious trouble I got into for slacking on my homework and using foul language, I didn't want the same happening with Lizzie, or any of my kids. Lily, over the years since you first became a mother, I've watched you bring those children up with lots of tender love and care. I know Lizzie forgot to do her homework, but I'm sure it wasn't deliberate. It wasn't. I just forgot I even had any homework. Why do I feel like a bad mother? I grounded you for no reason if you forgot you even had any homework. Before you lift my grounding, I did use foul language. I'll let you off for that, just this once. You did it because you realized your forgotten homework. Okay mum chin up. I forgive you, and you're a great mother, my work is done here. Thanks for your help. Anytime, my dear daughter. You're an amazing daughter, princess. Don't worry, you won't get into trouble for not doing your homework, or flunk out. I'll just ask them to reassign it to you and help you. A compromise? I like it. Okay guys. That was episode 122 of the Barrett Family Rebooted. Uh, 
That's right. And I do sincerely hope. That you're going to behave yourselves. I did just say that, didn't I? Anyway, whether or not I said it is irrelevant. So, we're not going to get into who said what. Instead, we're going to call it here, and I will see you next time. Evening all, and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of 420 show, the second chapter. We're still in season 10, guys. And yes, we are now 123 episodes into the show as a whole. That's right. So let's get on with the episode. That's right. Because that's what you're here for, isn't it? <sighs> yes, it is. So without further ado, um, before I show you the animation, I'd just like to share with you Not that, for goodness sake. Some lists from list 25. There must be some new ones up by now. 25 things that everybody knows but nobody wants to admit. At number 5, that we've read the message even if there is no scene via email, using airplane mode, etc. Uh, number 24, that somebody somewhere is having an even worse day than we are. Yeah, lots of people in the world, practically the third world. That one day our bodies will get old and saggy. Obviously, yes, it's gonna happen. Number 22, that most groups of kids curse when adults aren't around. And most groups of adults curse when kids aren't around. But neither group does it in front of the other because parents don't want to accept that kids know those words and kids don't want to get in trouble. Number 21, that there are actually Ah, stupid questions. That doesn't make sense, that there are actually ah, stupid questions. Lots of stupid questions. 20. That you're not going to win the Powerball lottery on Sunday. 19. That you're never going to be a professional athlete. 18. That seeing a police car in their rear view makes you feel scared and not safe. 17. That poop particles fly all around the bathroom whenever, whenever you flush. 16. That good looking people always tend to have easier lives, better jobs, more promotions and higher salaries because physiology sorry psychology that's not true 15 that you pick your nose yes we all do it or we've all done it 
14. That being a good and honest person is not the fastest way to get ahead in life. The best, maybe, but certainly not the fastest. 13. That nobody on this earth will remember you even existed in 100 years. 12. That kids, aren't, that kids can't actually be anything they want to be when they grow up. Well, of course they can't be a duck. I mean, come on, that's just ridiculous. 11. That you weren't hacked, you just regret posting it. 10. That no one actually knows the lyrics to Who Let The Dogs Out by the Baja Men. And they pronounce it Bajar Men. It's got an H in there, not a J. Nine. That you secretly like One Direction slash Justin Bieber and you're not a teenage girl. Not in my books. Eight. That kids do, in fact, indirectly cause a lot of relationship stress. That leads to divorce. Of course, it's an it's nicer to say it was financial, but where did that money slash time all go? According to recent research, boys put less stress on a marriage than girls, and children with disabilities or ADHD also put more stress on marital relationships. Hmm. Seven. That you pee in the shower. It's only 6.53pm and I've just made a rude reference. Six. That the baby in the stroller really isn't that cute. Oh, poor baby. Five. That the customer isn't always right. Nah, come on. <laughs> Four, that our economy existence in first world countries and general way of life is almost entirely dependent on someone else getting the short end of the stick. Three, that for the right amount of money, you can get away with almost anything. Two, that it wasn't a typo. And one, the email, the emails don't just get lost. Everyone knows you got the email and ignored it. Okay, guys. That's just one list, but I'll probably share another one with you after this episode of the Barra Family Rebooted. Girls, I've just passed your rooms and to say the least, I'm not impressed with the conditions of them. Lizzie, I thought you knew how to be tidy. You're 12 years old now. I know, Mum. I'm sorry about that. That's not all. All your dirty clothes from weeks ago are making the room smell. You're grounded for two weeks for letting it get that messy. Go and tidy it, please. Throw open a window, and put all your dirty clothes in the washing basket. Yes, Mum. I'm off the hook. You most certainly are not off the hook, Missy. Your room is ten times messier than Lizzie's, and it's a hazard. You've left your toys everywhere. I nearly tripped on one. Your father would go berserk if he was home right now. And Mason could really hurt himself if he even fell on one let alone tripping on it. You are grounded for four weeks for letting it get that messy and making it a danger to anyone who dares enter. Go and tidy it this instant and put those toys away. You're a very naughty girl.
Okay, guys, that was episode 123 of the Barrett Family Rebooted, entitled The Girls Get Grounded. Obviously, because Lizzie and Shelby get grounded in the episode. Hey, now, guys, as I said I'd probably do before we end this episode, how about another list? Yeah, that's right. So let's do it. I mean, let's do this. So let's see, shall we? Okay, maybe not. Uh, okay, guys. I just need to find one first. Twenty five things that they don't want you to know. Well, let's see what these are, shall we? Oh, okay, twenty five. In the United States, if you have trouble with a telecom company, you can file a complaint with the FCC. Twenty four. Mr. Clean magic erasers are just melamine sponges that you can get on eBay for a dollar. 23. Want to get an immediate response from a big company? Call them out on Twitter. Nothing gets corporate damage control moving like bad press. 23, 22. When buying a car, negotiate the price of the car and not the monthly payments. Focusing on what you pay each month is good or is good way to get ripped off. Don't you mean it's a good way to get ripped off? Come on. 21. If you are shopping online and let your items sit in the shopping cart for a while, Sometimes a retailer will contact you with a discount coupon to persuade you into completing your purchase. 20. Diluted vinegar can replace a lot of cleaning products. 19. If a debt collector comes after you, ask them to show proof that you have a debt to pay. Many times all they have is your name on a list with the hopes that they can coerce you, coerce or scare you into paying. Also, once you pay them so much as a dollar, you're admitting you should pay all your debts. Just do so responsibly and knowing all of your rights. 18. Store brands and off-name brands are not always cheaper. Even if they are on sale, check the price tag. 17. Repeatedly passing zero during an automated phone call will usually get you through to a human. So what? You're talking to aliens if you dial any other number. Come on, guys. Don't be racist. <laughs> 16. In the US and Canada, you are legally allowed to cancel your flight ticket within 24 hours of purchase for a full refund. 15. Rather than ordering the Junior Cheeseburger Deluxe at Wendy's, order the Junior Cheeseburger and ask for all the toppings. 
toppings are free. 14. All airlines or all airfares in the United States are based on one-way fares. This means that many times you can get better deals by booking two separate one-way flights. 13. In some states, gift cards don't expire even if it says they do. 12. Instant oatmeal is just regular rolled oatmeal, but smaller so that the hot water will work more quickly, along with some sugar and powdered milk. Basically, you could make the same thing with a blender. 11. You are not legally required to stop for a receipt checkers when leaving a store. The worst that could happen would be at where they may revoke your membership. Assholes, oh sorry. 10. Some careers in the United States are almost completely unregulated in their qualifications. You can just call yourself a nutritionist, DJ, personal trainer, etc. etc. 9. Many states have laws on how speed limits are meant to be set, but quite often the limits are set arbitrarily without fulfilling all of the requirements, speed studies, etc. etc. This means they are unenforceable from a legal standpoint. Next time you into your state laws. 8. The jewellery counter in Walmart is perfectly capable of ringing you up as long as you don't have produce because they won't have scales. 7. In large chain retail stores, if you are having issues or being refused, with regards to returns, etc., ask to speak to customer service. These complaints go straight to district managers, so store managers do everything they can, they can to prevent them. Disclaimer, only do this if you legitimately feel that the store should take back what you bought. We do not endorse abusing the system or returning used goods. 6. If you're singing your kids up, signing your kids up for recreation or educational programs, check local city and state governments for financial aid. Many times people don't know about it and it goes to waste. 5. Boric acid will destroy ants and cockroaches as good as any professional chemical. Okay. It also leaves a barrier that prevents them from returning for up to a decade. Needless to say, pest controllers don't like that stuff. You can see why. <laughs> Four. You can order most of your medications from India for a fraction of the price elsewhere. Keep in mind that this way, that, that this may go against the laws of whatever country you are currently in. But the fact remains that medication in some countries is drastically cheaper than in others. Three. While well, calling tech support in the US if you don't want to call center in India, then select the option for Spanish. Those call centers are usually within the country and will typically offer help in English as well. 2. The best way to raise your salary is by changing jobs every two years. 
You don't want to change too often or you'll seem like a loose cannon. At your new job, you innovate by spreading best practice or best practices you learn from your previous job. Take all promotions, even unpaid ones. The only downside? Not long lasting work relationships, but that's okay. You can develop those outside of your job anyway. And number one. So the number one thing they know that they don't want us to know is when you're booking venues, DJs, flowers, etc. for weddings, don't use the term wedding. At first, just say party. Later on, when they find out it is a wedding, they may try to up their rates. When that happens, ask them what they do differently for weddings. Well, okay. And that's it for the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back with another episode very soon. Till then, take care. Hi guys, and welcome to the pre-finale of season 10 of the Persona God of Water 20 show, the second chapter. We're now 124 episodes in, guys, and let's get ready to flee the situation. Because it's time to get ready to move on to... Big Macintosh has joined us on screen. Yup. Sorry about that, guys. Yup. Okay, he's gone. So now let's get ready to do something we need to do before Rarity's joined us on screen. An interesting break off point, darling. Oh, you poor dear. Thanks, Rarity. Um, what do you guys know? It's now time for this episode of the Barrow Family Rebooted. I can't believe I'm getting away with not doing my homework. Was that a naughty girl I heard? A naughty girl? No. You're a little fibber. So, Shelby Rose Barrett, you think it's a good idea to ditch your homework and lie to Jess about being naughty do you? I'm not being naughty. You are being very naughty, and you'll be grounded if you carry on. You've just lied to me, and that's very naughty, I didn't lie to you. 
Yes you did, and you still are. You're lying to me about lying and being naughty, and I will not tolerate it. You are a very naughty girl, you are also grounded until I say. How dare you slack on your homework on top of telling this pack of lies. Get up to your room and make a start on your untouched homework, right now. You bad girl, no way. Naughty girl, you do not disobey me. Oh, fuck's sake. Let me press the goddamn button. Sorry, guys. Now, that was episode 124 of the Barra Family Rebooted. She'll be lying, won't she? Obviously, for the fact that Shelby was lying in the episode. Anyway, guys, I'm not lying when I say this. There isn't really much else I can do for this episode, so we'll call it here. And we'll see you soon as the finale of this season takes place. Until then, take a breather. Hey guys, and welcome to the finale of season 10 of the Poseidon and Gunner Porter 20 show the second chapter. As well as being the 10th season finale, this is also, yes, we are now 125 episodes in to the show overall. And it is now time to press on. So let's do it. Because there's this one thing. Well, I don't know why that just happened, but it did. So let's have some kindness, please. And let's not have any of this crap up. So now let's get on with it, shall we? Because it's time for Philopodopodus. Philopodopodopodus. Philopodopodopodus. How about this episode now of The Barrow Family Rebooted? I hope Mason's all right. He hasn't come to see me yet. Shelby, I need your help. Mason, what's the matter? Why are you crying? Some bigger boys are bullying me. Oh really? Who are the bigger boys behind this? There he is. Mason, a little baby. He needs to change his. Now look here, you stupid bastards. This little boy is my brother, and I will not let you pick on him anymore. I don't see you having a choice if you don't want to be thumped. I see. Not only are you bullies, but you're also a couple of right douchebags. If you even try to thump me, I will personally fuck you up. We'll just see about that. You asked for it.
You can't better not go anywhere near me or my brother again. Thanks, Shelby. Mason, you're my brother, I love you very much. I swore to mum and dad that I'd protect you from bullies, and I'd get grounded if I don't. Okay guys, that was episode 125 of the Barrett Family Rebooted. Shelby flipping out. For the fact that Shelby flipped out to protect Mason. That's right. And guys, 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 not much else to do, there's only one thing left to do and say. Bertha season 11 is coming up soon, and much like this season having 14 episodes instead of 11, Season 11 will have 15 of them. So you can look forward to that. And that's it, guys. That's it for this season. I'll see you in season 11.